sustain? How much is sustain? Anybody know what a, how much a sustain is? A skein of wool? So it takes so many skeins to make a sweater, right? I don't know how many. Oh, five or six, five. right? Or more? Oh, no, wait I don't know. Like and I have no idea if three of these bound together would make a skein, but it, a skein is a little spool to put in your hand. A skein, that's like a bundle of wool, right? What like when you go into the grocery like three or four ounces. So when you go into the store, though, I mean, you'll see a, a, the, the wool bound in this, what they call a skein. Mm -hmm. It's like three a little package of wool. Three or four ounces. Okay. Yeah. Just as a reference point, uh, a Colombian ewe, uh, a Colombian sheep, which is a white sheep, not a, not a black face sheep, but a white face sheep, they have longer wool than the shorter ones. You can get 18 to 20 pounds of wool off of one. Wow. And, and the, the male sheep, the buck, you can get up to 24 to 28 pounds of wool. Hmm. You can make a lot of wool out of one of these. How long do you think that the uh, housewife sat there and worked on this in the wintertime to mix it up to, to do one sweater? And then they have to take this after they've spun it all together and they have to dye it. They, uh, they use berries and different things that, you know, you do. Heard. In those days, because we didn't have the dyes the rest readily available like we have, woods from trees and different ways of getting a different color. And then they knit a sweater. It used to be real itchy, but with the processing they do at the wool today, wool seems to no longer be itchy. I remember as a child, some of the wool was. I drove you crazy. Okay, I think you guys have to go, and I need to.